Hey guys, Evan Rand here. I want to show you something real quick. Someone the other day asked me a question about um, uh, can they run a single point sling on their long gun, a long gun, 16 inch gun, um, uh, or should they run a two point sling? And I said, like I've always said, whether it's an AR-15 pistol, that's a seven and a half, you know, every single variation all the way up to 16 and even beyond. It all depends on what you're doing with that gun. If that gun is pick up and defend your home, defend yourself with it, vehicle, I'm pointing at my vehicle, um, then dude, single, 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 single. If you are going to be carrying your weapon for a long period of time, then two point. Which is why whenever you guys have seen pretty much all my rifles, they're set up for two point and they're also set up for single point because I run them in both in both ways. Where they where it makes the difference is, well here, I'll show you. When you're dealing with a reload on the long gun, you're gonna end up with strap over over the side of the gun. Now this is, this is just as big a problem for the lefty as it is for the righty. For the lefty, the strap is on this side. So if I have a reload or well, okay, L let me do the reload. So the reload is mag out. And by the way, guys, when you're doing a reload, try to keep your gun um, horizontal. Because if you go vertical, that mag is going to have difficulty falling out. So um, mag out, mag in, bolt forward, and you're back on the gun. If you're dealing with a malfunction, it's this. Okay, so now I've got a malfunction on my hands. This malfunction, luckily I'm a lefty, so I can see the malfunction. But if you're a righty, you would then have to... You'd have a dead trigger. You'd have to roll the weapon, see what you got going on, and then you'd have to deal with it. So, for me as a lefty, it's I got a dead trigger. My right eye glances down. I realize I got a problem. It's tap, rack, and whoa! Now I've created. Check it out. I've created the double feed. So now this problem is no longer tap rack. Now it's extract, retain. One, two, three. And some people will tell you, rotate, but guys, this is just as handy. Look, because that's a much bigger hole than that hole is, so it works. So now it's release, and it's mag in, rack, and keep going, okay? All of what I just did would sure as heck been a lot easier without this in the way. But like I've said before, when you're fighting with your gun, well, okay, I've created so many problems by showing that to you because I, I can already hear the comment section beginning to heat up and almost getting ready to cook off. Is that still usable? Yep, those are still usable. Seldom are you going to deal with malfunctions. If you're dealing with quality ammo, and this is Wolf Gold, um, uh, Wolf makes good ammo, but their steel case stuff is crap. But Wolf Gold, which is packed in brass, this is really good ammo. Guys, when you see me doing those really long shots, this is what I'm shooting, okay? <laughs> this is what I'm shooting. When you're dealing with malfunctions in a training environment, it's a lot easier with a single point than with a two point. When you're dealing with reloads, right now I'm fighting the sling, which is why people many times will create a lot of slack in their sling when they're working with it, but when they release it to go to, to the transition, they end up with the gun wanging down so low that it actually becomes a problem and they have to they have to like bring the gun up and create the tension and it's just I find myself in this unique position guys because I can actually preach truth to you because I sell single point and I sell two point and they both cost the same even though one costs more to make than the other okay it does for real it costs more it costs me more to make one than the other but I sell them both for the same price point because I don't want to dissuade you from buying one or the other because of, of, of 10 bucks. Guys, the difference in slings for me is $10. Here, I'll tell you. It costs me $10 more to make this sling than it costs me to make a, two point, uh, a single point sling. But I sell this sling without QDs for 89, and I sell this sling with QDs for 99, even though there are two QDs involved. So technically, it really should be 109, I sell it for 99 because I don't I, I want the slings to remain the same price point. So what I'm saying to you is if you're gonna be manipulating your weapon a lot, you may want to consider the single point, and here's why. When you're dealing with a single point, the equation is simplified for you. Because now 
all of the fabric, all the restrictive fabric webbing that is in your way with the two point, your attachment point is here. All the mechanisms to work on the gun are here. Whether it's lefty, whether it's righty, it's irrelevant. Everything to work on the gun is here in the open. Okay? But what it does equate to is, if you have to be in this gun for an extended period of time, it does get uncomfortable because when you allow it to go to sling, which is going to be here, for me as a lefty, I put it, I put, I put the sling on the side that a righty would actually put the sling, um, uh, the slung weapon, because if I have to go to my handgun, if my gun runs empty and I have to go to my handgun, then I'm lowering the long gun and my handgun comes out. And as I move with the gun, because a lot of the drills that you do, if you're training at reputable places, they're having you move, the gun slowly begins to migrate its way this way. It's easier when you don't have a chest rig, because the chest rig tends to, tends to trap it. Like right here, it's actually trapped between two magazines. The, um, the uh, uh, forward assist is trapped between two magazines. So this gun's probably not gonna move, but if I'm running slick down, the gun migrates its way to this side. Well, if I run the gun dry, because some instructors will run you dry, and my gun is actually here, which is where most lefties will run their, their sling side to, then your long gun is right in the way of your support equipment for your handgun. So you've, you know, you've created a problem for yourself, and actually I forgot to put a mag up front. Um, you created a problem for yourself. Oh, wrong hole. So, um, <laughs> forgot to put a mag in there, there we go. So your, your long gun ends up in the way of your support gear, and now you've just created a problem. That's why I allow it to sling to that side. There are valid points. Those of you that argue two point versus single point, guess what? You're all right, and you're all wrong. Because you're all right at a certain point, and you're all, and you're all sorry guys, it's really cold out here. And you're all wrong at a certain point. And I'm one of the people who's uniquely positioned to be able to say this because I make both slings. I make a single point and I make a two point. Um, and I'm not about to stand here and tell you that you should buy both, okay? What I'm getting at is look at what you're most likely gonna find yourself doing. Is it gonna be just home defense? Okay, then it should probably be single point. Let me show you how I do single point for home defense, how I set it up. When this gun is leaning against the wall, I take the sling and I put it here. And the reason I put it here is it is less likely to, when I pick up the gun, if the sling were on the floor, it is less likely for me to, uh, it is less likely to get hung up if I were to suddenly snatch the gun and this starts trailing. What if it gets hung up on something, a doorknob, uh, any number of things? So I put it there so that when I bring the gun up and I go to shoulder it, as soon as I put the gun vertical, I'm sorry, horizontal, the sling falls and I can use the gun and then from here, safety on and I grab the sling and I can throw it over my neck. If that's all I've got time to do, I just throw it over my neck and I go. But from here, the sling is hanging and I can just grab it and get into it quickly. With the two-point sling, you're in a slightly better position. Um, like I said, it's a little more cumbersome for, for fighting in close quarters with a two-point most especially with vehicle. Man, I'll tell you, a two-point in a vehicle, <laughs> that's a rodeo. Done that one. Which, by the way, is why I designed my own single point with my buddy Daniel Basham. But anyways, um, with a two-point sling, oh, sorry, with a two-point sling, when it is leaning against the wall, as soon as you pick it up, it kind of tends to, the vast majority of the sling is here, and all you've got is that little tail at the bottom, but as soon as you go horizontal, yeah, horizontal with the gun, the sling is already positioned, it's poised to be very quickly gotten into. That was a lot faster to get into than a single point was. The reason I didn't even try getting into the, the single point was when I try and I've got a camera on, I will end up driving that camera with the single point. So guys, those of you who argue for single point, you're right. Those of you who argue for two point, you're right. But when things get flip-flopped, you're both wrong as well. So pick one. Um, really wish I had any. any I wish I had answers for you because I really don't. I, I, I use both. I make both. I use both. Um, I made them both with bungee. The bungee is a bigger thing with the two-point because 
like the single point, once you set the tension on the single point, you're done. With the two point, it's the same thing. And my two point is a dramatic departure from everybody else's two point because once you set your tension on this two point, it's beautiful because as soon as I need the gun, I push out. Right now, all that bungee has just gone in tension. And as soon as I retract it, it sucks the gun back up where I need it to be. And I can push it around the back and it just stays put. It's a beautiful setup, guys. I'm not doing sliding in and out, in and out. It's just, I mean, you guys know I head up into the hills and I'm, I'm in this gun for hours at a time. And it's just a wonderful setup. It's very comfortable. And as soon as I need the gun, I just bring it around, use the gun, and then put the gun back up again. Great setup. All right, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or death threats, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. As always, God bless you all. Get those guns out in practice. You know, I should probably launch at least one round in this video for you. Actually, no, I did, didn't I? Well, I'll launch another one. Ah, oh, at least I didn't, at least I didn't yank on the gun, right? Headshot, let's do a headshot for you. to be a lot easier when I was younger. Have a good one, guys.